The National Capital Region or the NCR is one of the most developed, industrialized, commercialized and prosperous regions in India. It has not just reduced the burgeoning population pressure on Delhi but has also emerged as a vibrant economic hub. In fact, Delhi NCR has replaced India's Silicon Valley Bengaluru as home to the most number of new startups. This has led to Delhi rank third in terms of per capita income. Numerous Tier 2 and Tier 3 cities that join the metropolitans of the NCR have witnessed a footfall of opportunities, better connectivity, accessible markets and shorter travel durations. Along the lines of NCR, the Uttar Pradesh government has announced a state capital region or the SCR comprising of Lucknow and nearby districts of Unnao, Sitapur, Raibareli, Parabanki, Kanpur Nagar and Kanpur Dehat. The development of an SCR will reduce the population pressure and lead to the creation of a high-tech township around Lucknow. Lucknow has a population density of approximately 8,100 residents per square kilometre which is around 10 times more than the average population density of the entire state of UP. Though being the capital of the state, the city has poor infrastructure due to decades of neglect by successive Congress and Samajwadi Party governments. The very spirit of the city is characterized by narrow roads, choked drains, unclean localities and dangerously distributed power lines. There is also an ever-worsening problem of air and water pollution that is taking a toll on the health of the people of the region due to decades worth of industrial discharge. The SCR scheme will work towards finding solutions to such civic challenges arising out of pressure on infrastructure due to region's increasing population. In the last four to five years, Lucknow has made rapid development and has invited a massive influx of investments that have turned it into an attractive destination and hence a centre for employment generation. Because of this, Lucknow has become a magnet for industrialists, businessmen and students alike. As a result, the city of Lucknow has been expanding on the fringes at a massive speed but this expansion has unfortunately been unplanned. SCR will pave the way for planned development of a city and the surrounding regions which has hitherto seen unplanned, short-sighted and incompetent development work. The SCR is touted to be a unique example of inter-district planning and development that will set an example for other emerging Tier 2 cities to capitalize on their economic opportunities. Districts like Sitapur, Barabanki, Raibareli, Unnao will be equipped with metro services and will have direct connectivity with the state's capital Lucknow. Convention centers, stadiums, malls, parks will further lead to beautification of the city. Lucknow is also one of the nodes under the Uttar Pradesh Defence Corridor which has already intensified the pace of industrial development but could soon turn into a cantonment base in its own right. With the laying of the Purvanchal Expressway, Bundelkhand Expressway, Gorakhpur Link Expressway and Ganga Expressway, the areas in and around Lucknow will see rapid socio-economic development, invite investments to the untapped region and overall improve the standard of living of the people. For long, the potential of Lucknow has remained shackled due to the lack of visionary leadership at the state level. Watch out Mumbai, because with the coming of Uttar Pradesh state capital region, Lucknow is all set to become the central hub of India's next industrial and manufacturing powerhouse and potentially lead India's growth story in the coming decades.